hey, Terrence, congrats on the win. You guys come out of halftime and hold them to 30 points in that second half. What was the message from coach at halftime to get you guys to dig in and hold them like that? Uh, just keep being aggressive defensively, uh, sticking to the game plan, and do what we do. Uh, I felt like we had a great defensive unit out there a lot of the time, you know, long guys switching one through five, and it was, it was good to see everybody getting active on the defensive end and then finishing it up with, with, a, with a defensive rebound. You know, a lot of guys were rebounding. I think we had three guys in double figure rebounds. So, you know, that was cool to see. Thanks. Uh, next question is from Tomer. Go ahead, Tomer. Hey, Terrence, congrats on the win. Uh, kind of a bittersweet day for you guys. Um, just, you know, since you've been in the league, Lou has sort of been your vet. Um, you know, Pat has often described uh, him as the hot and Lou as the cold. I'm curious, what are your feelings today, you know, as you go through, even though you get the win, you guys do lose Lou? Um, just what you said, man, bittersweet. Uh, Lou was my vet. You know, he taught me how to be a pro. He taught me how to approach the game. Uh, he taught me how to have the right mentality during the game when it's going good, when it's going bad. Uh, he always picked me up if things are going bad. He always, you know, checked in on me uh, on and off the court. So, you know, it's, it's going to be tough having him gone, but, you know, I'm going to stay connected with him. Uh, he was great for our team, big-time leader. And like you said, you know, he's the cool, the cooler. So, you know, just having him around is just a great vibe. Uh, and I'm definitely going to miss him. I know, I know last game you had that up and under. Lou said, don't show him uh, everything. Uh, was it weird not having him out there on the bench, like looking at the bench just not seeing him there? For sure, for sure. A lot of the pregame rituals that he does, um, you know, that I see him doing, uh, some of them I'm part of. It's just uh, weird not to have him there for the game. Uh, it was tough, but it is what it is. Thanks. Thanks, Tamara. Next, no, next question, Terrence, is from Charlie Widows. Hey, Terrence. Uh, obviously, as you said, a bittersweet day, but uh, what was your reaction when you heard Rondo's coming and uh, kind of what do you expect from him? Um, you know, it's a pretty cool thing. You know, I grew up in, in Massachusetts. Rondo was there for, you know, most of my middle school days and high school days. So, you know, just having him on the same team as me, um, it's pretty cool. I still got his rookie card in my wallet, actually, which is crazy um, that I'm actually going to be teammates with him. Um, but, you know, he's a, he's a smart guy, smart player. He brings a lot to the table for our team. Uh, great point guard. And, you know, just, it's Rondo. <laughs> it's right there. Right there. That's great. Thanks. Do you have a, any relationship with him? Uh, nah, not yet. Cool. Thanks, Thanks, Charlie. Uh, next question from Sabrina. Go ahead, Sabrina. Hey, Terrence. Um, you guys have been just really, really good on back-to-backs this whole season. I think this is, you know, you're undefeated in eight tries so far. What do you think it is about this team that makes you guys so good in that situation? Uh, the grit, the focus, the leaders. You know, everybody's locked in. Everybody, you know, knows when, it, when it's time to go hard, when it's time to play hard. Um, you know, back-to-backs are tough. And, you know, the leaders, it's, it's really the leaders having everybody locked in, ready to play. Do you feel like you have an advantage, you know, as someone with younger, fresher legs in that type of situation? Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Um, you know, I'm, I'm younger. I don't get as tired as the older guys. But, um, you know, they, 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 they're locked in, too. You know, they, they're ready to go. They're ready to play uh, in any circumstance. Uh, next question from Miriam. Go ahead, Miriam. Hey, Terrence, so you, you said you have you have Rondo's rookie card in your wallet still? Is that yeah, right? I want to see it. Can I show it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Please. Uh, sorry, sorry. Still got it. Still got it right here. Let's see that. Oh, that's dope. Still got it. <laughs> got to get him to autograph it. I, yeah, I was going to say. Nah, so he, I've, I mean, had it since, I've had it since eighth grade, seventh grade, something like that. Seventh grade, I think. All right. Yeah. So, I mean, the, it, he must be a really special player to you then. This isn't, you don't carry around anybody. Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, somebody gave it to me. So, the story is somebody gave it to me, and then I had made the A team for my travel team. And I was like, they gave it to me that day, and I made the A team. And I was like, man, it got to be because of this card. So, I kept the card, and I just kept getting better and better at basketball. I'm like, oh, it's because of this card. I'm going to the NBA, definitely. Oh, and I just had it in my wallet ever since. It's like, good luck, Charlie. Man. Well, so far, so good. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Terrence. I don't know, Terrence. That's the best quote anybody can give these guys. I don't know how much. I don't know what's left. But yeah. I guess I guess, <laughs> I guess we'll let Cam be the judge of that. Go ahead, Cam. Let's hear your question. <laughs> Tough one to follow, Chris. Good job. Thank you. Putting the pressure on. Hey, what I wanted to ask you, Terrence, I want to ask you why you had the card. You explained why you, why you had the card in, in your wallet. Um, so it, it was good luck. 
as a uh, growing up in the Northeast, kind of what did you see from Rondo? Would you would um, impress you about him um, growing up in the North in Northeast and watching him play out there? Just the way he passed the ball. You know, everybody talked about Rondo in the Northeast. He was, he was a big figure. Um, everybody loved the Celtics out there. Um, but it's just basically the way he passed the ball, the way he ran the team. You know, he's just a big icon uh, in Boston. Okay. Now, if I can get you to talk about your teammate, um, Ivisa Zubac. I mean, something's going on in there. What are you guys feeding this kid? He's getting tougher and tougher under the boards. He had his um, – season high in block shots tonight. He's rebounding another ninth double-double. Tell me what's going on in locker room, how you guys are motivating Zubac, and what's going on with this kid. How you just keep getting better and better after each game? Zub, I mean, Zub's hooping. He's a pro. He's a big-time pro now. Um, he's, he got years in the league, even though he's only 24. Um, and most of it's himself, man. He's just, he's just ready, locked in. He wants to win. Um, he's out there being aggressive. Everybody's motivating him. Every time he does something good, everybody's cheering him on. But a lot of it's himself. You know, you can see him growing, getting better. Um, he, you can see that he's realizing he's getting better. He's demanding the ball more, finishing at the rim, dunking it. Um, so it's good to see him, you know, taking on the challenge himself just to, you know, be more aggressive. And he's gotten a lot better. With it. Yeah, that's exciting, man. It's exciting to watch you guys grow. Thanks for the uh, quote. Have a good one. Yeah. Well done, Cam. You didn't let us down. Yeah.